What is up? Welcome to Talent Scout Reacts. My name is Ryan, former Talent Scout, indie major labels, current music management agency owner here with another banger. We've got Bad Wolves, second time on the channel. The first time we listened to Lifelines, and that video was probably my most disliked or controversial video that there is. Not because of my reaction, but more so because of the song. If you don't know, DL Lasquitz is their new vocalist. He comes from the Acacia strain as their guitarist. And my expectations were different than the outcome. I want to be very clear here because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments right away. I prefer Tommy Vexed as a vocalist over DL. That's just the way it is, objectively speaking. Speaking. Tommy brought more to the table. He had better screams. He had better cleans. But he is also a piece of crap human, and DL is not. So I understand the move. I understand where they're going. To me, DL sounds too much like Daughtry. Very generic, no real trademark to his vocals. But again, I only heard one song, so I could be wrong, but that's what I heard from, from what I checked out. But again, I want to be very clear. I prefer DL in the band because he's a better person. Tommy has much better vocals, but he is his, 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 uh, assholeness, if you will, outweighs anything else he brought to the table. So that's my feelings. I'm sure you'll, you'll hate watch and sound off in the comments, which is totally fine. Today, we're going to check out, they just dropped their album. I asked uh, Doc, their guitarist, what song to check out because I know they have another video for a song, but I didn't want to check something out that was like a ballad or just commercial, or whatever. I wanted to check out something that was truly heavy, like true bad wolves that us true cult fans like more than the average radio rock fan. So he referred me to On the Case, which is a new song that dropped today on their new album. The new album is called Dear Monsters. Go check it out, go buy it, go stream it, whatever you do. So I guess this is their heaviest song on the album, and I'm looking forward to hearing that classic Bad Wolves angst. So without further ado, let's check out On the Case by Bad Wolves. Let's go. Sounds heavy already. Okay. Okay. This is what I like, guys. Alright, I must say, right now the screams sound like Tommy, so... Okay, pre-chorus. That riff, man! Instrumentally, they haven't lost a thing. Mm. I always love that that pitch shifting they they brought to the table with that low. I guess they're in G or F. I don't know anymore. This sounds like old Bad Wolves, like classic Bad Wolves, and it's making me happy. Interesting pre-chorus. Short though, I like that. God, that riff is so groovy. Songs like this, I don't notice his cleans being different as much because there's, there's more dynamics overall. He's not the primary focus, so to speak. Nice little lo-fi. Okay, here we go. Breakdown? Or solo? Better be a breakdown. Yeah! Okay, guys. Yeah, that was predictable, but very well done. Lyrics are interesting. I think you guys can uh, connect the dots. I, man, you could not pick a better riff for a chorus. 
I wish there were some, like, sing screams in the chorus, too. It would differentiate a little bit. Still very well done. I kind of like how the drum pattern changes up a little bit on the second half. Mm. I love that harmonization. Okay. That's what I come to expect from Bad Wolves. I love it. I can't wait to hear that live because that's just gonna that's a that's a pit goer right there. Uh, I, I again I hope there's more of this on the album than Lifelines or whatever else. Honestly, like th I I I hope they didn't stray too far from the path to I don't want to say sell out because that's not my point, but really it seems like with the last couple of singles they've gone really trying to reach for that radio crowd, which. I understand from a business standpoint, but if you don't want to alienate your fan base that you've had for however long now, five, six, seven years, this is the type of music we want to hear. This is Bad Wolves. This is this is literally trademark classic Bad Wolves. If, if you've been a fan for a long time since their first EP or album or singles or whatever it is, this is the type of music. This reminds me of their last album, like kind of like Foe or Friend, Consumerist, uh, uh, LA song, that kind of thing. This is very similar instrumentally to that, and that's what I really like. And honestly, as much as I say I'm not a huge fan of DL, I think what I've come to the conclusion is I'm not a huge fan of him on the softer stuff because I think it it showcases his vulnerabilities rather than what he brings to the table. Whereas stuff like this, where he can really mix in the screams and cleans, not much of a drop off from Tommy. I got to be honest, I still believe Tommy is a better vocalist talent wise, but when it comes to music like this that's more balanced and more dynamic, I think DL could really thrive if they do more of this. I'm going to check out the whole album. I'm not sure if they do. I really hope so. I don't know since since Doc told me this is the heaviest track. Like it's heavy. I just hope it's not the only heavy track. So, fingers crossed, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Please, I know you will. Please like, subscribe, and share if you are enjoying the content. And as always, have a nice life.